Hey YouTube, today we're looking at BT's offering into the television marketplace, utilizing the hybrid TV platform UView. The UView no subscription concept is to create a seamless environment between digital terrestrial television, the normal channels you receive on your digital freeview receiver, and catch up TV services that you normally find on your computer, phone, or tablet. UView puts all of these on your TV. BT enhances this further by also offering IPTV-based services dependent on your package, including their BT Sports channels. This is the BT UView Plus box, a small set-top box coming in at just 23 by 15 centimeters and only 4.5 centimeters high. The Plus model features a 500 gigabyte hard drive over the standard model, allowing up to 300 hours of local recording. There is also a UHD box for those with a 4K television. Although primarily plastic, the Humax manufactured product has a high quality build with a great design. The front features three LEDs that illuminate to indicate different statuses and standby modes, while the left side contains a USB 2.0 port for connecting flash drives or keyboards. The top features buttons to access the primary functions including power, menu guidance and recording. The rear of the unit has a whole host of ports, starting with our terrestrial aerial in and out, analog video and audio out on RCA connectors, SPDIF for optical audio, SCART for old analog TVs, HDMI for newer HD TVs, Ethernet for an internet connection, a second USB 2.0 port, and finally our power input that utilizes an external transformer with an isolator on the back of the device. Notice that HDMI port is the only way to get a high definition output from the box. The remote is easy to use, featuring all the usuals, plus a quick access BT player button and a UView button to access the main menu. Typing is via an old school numpad system, which may be a problem for those born this millennia, however I can get around it just fine. Alternatively, you can use a USB keyboard by plugging it in in the rear or side of the box. Using the instructions in the manual, you can also set up the remote to control your TV. Setting up the UU box is really easy thanks to being able to connect it to your existing aerial and can automatically tune to receive your local high and standard definition television channels. The internet based features will need the box to be connected to the interwebs and it is important to note that the device does not feature Wi-Fi meaning it must be plugged into your home network via an ethernet cable that is included in the box. To get around this, many common setups feature home plugs, allowing the device to be connected via your internal power cables, meaning no extra cables need to be run to your hub. We're using the 600 megabit per second BT Powerline kit with great results. This is an interesting move from BT not to include Wi-Fi, however your connection will certainly be more stable over a wired network, particularly important when streaming HD video content. Having now used UView for several months, I can certainly say I'm impressed, especially with the integration between live and on-demand TV. The user guide is easy to use and the remote is very intuitive. The quick and responsive program guide makes accessing any program very easy by simply scrolling back and selecting the program you'd like to watch. UView then takes you into the correct player so that you can view the content. There is also a very helpful search function, meaning you don't have to even know which channel or what time the program was on. You can simply search for it across all the built-in players and recordings at once. The box will let you access the on-demand content in the more familiar format of individual environments for each provider, such as BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, BT and Netflix. I was a little disappointed to see that there is no app for YouTube, Amazon Prime Video and no app store to download new apps. Instead, the box will self-update as new apps and players become available. The integration between terrestrial television and IPTV channels that you have subscribed to is also very successful, as it does not differentiate them to the user. IPTV channels simply add on to the end of the channel list, populating numbers in the 3 and 400 range. IPTV channels are available on both standard and high definition, but take a couple of seconds to initialize over terrestrial television channels. Other than the second to initialize, there is no noticeable difference to regular television programs. HD streams just fine over our BT Infinity connection. The instruction manual recommends a minimum of 5 megabits per second for HD streaming. 
Thanks to its 500GB internal hard drive, the box can also reliably record programs locally in full high definition. This is useful if the channel doesn't have an on-demand player or if a particular program such as a film won't be available after the initial broadcast. Recording is super easy by highlighting the program you'd like and hitting record. It's a dual HD tuner, meaning that two programs can be recorded at once, or you can record one while watching another. The box also allows for the pausing of live TV. There is also a UView app available for iPhone and Android, which allows you to view the TV program guide and set programs to record while you're away from the box. Overall, I really like the BT UView box. It's a great hybrid between terrestrial and internet-based television. It means you no longer have to plug in your laptop or stream content from your phone, nor do you have to sift back through recordings as you can easily search for them. My only disappointment is the narrow range of apps and players available. In the future, I'd like to see UView become a more open platform so that a wide range of companies can develop apps for the device. The lack of Wi-Fi doesn't really bother me, however I could potentially see it added in the future. Thanks for watching, if you have any comments please leave them below and I'll see you in the next video.